In daily repair experience, iPhone not power on caused by water damage is a very common problem. Today we just received an iPhone 11 Pro Max with this problem. Now let's diagnose step by step to see what's the final problem and fix it. Take out the phone and remove protect shell. Plug it into charging cable and long press power button. Just as the customer described, phone has no response at all. Now we need to remove screen and check motherboard and parts. Unbolt two bottom pentalobe screw at first. Separate the screen from back housing with plastic triangle crowbar. Slide gently to protect the inside flex. Remove battery FPC metal shield. Disconnect the battery flex from motherboard. Connect the DC power supply cable with the motherboard. Long press power button. Check the electric current change of motherboard. We found the power on electric current start from 0 0.094 ampere and drop after swing to 0 0.234 ampere. The display still have no response. Phone can't power on with DC power supply. In this case, we need to confirm the problem was caused by motherboard or other parts of the phone. Therefore, we need to take off motherboard and process the next diagonals. Unbolt all screws on motherboard. Eject the SIM card. After getting motherboard out, let's connect the motherboard with DC power supply. Connect the PowerFlex interface and the motherboard with the tweezers. Check electric current pointer swing performance. We found the motherboard could power on. It means the problem was caused by other phone parts. Now that the motherboard has no problem, can we power on the phone if we install only the screen? Install genuine screen and connect the DC power supply. Try to power on phone. We found the electric current value has a slight change. But the phone still can't power on. Now it's very obvious that the problem was caused by screen. To verify this inference, we install a brand new screen on motherboard. Try to power on phone again. This time it works. Motherboard was powered on successfully. The starting current goes from 80 mA and keep rising when motherboard turns on. The electric current pointer will swing until power on completely. It takes about 1 or 2 minutes, and the electric current goes over 1 ampere finally. After that, electric current will keep dropping to dozens of milliamperes when it goes into standby mode. Now we can prove that the power failure was caused by damaged genuine screen. A brand new screen can fix this problem easily. After the trouble diagnosis, let's restore the phone now. First, let's install motherboard back to the phone. Take off ear speaker and sensor flex from genuine screen and install it on new screen. Restore all screws and metal shields back to the motherboard.
Install new screen on motherboard. Install Metal Shield. Connect the battery to motherboard. Fit a new screen gently into bag housing. Bolt two bottom screws. Power on successfully. Insert the SIM card back. Enter the phone and test all functions. All the functions works well. Problem is solved. Most of the not power on problem caused by water damage are because motherboard cooling. However, in this case, it's caused by spare parts. Therefore, we can troubleshoot the problem one by one with the DC power supply and the other tools. Then reduce unnecessary repair cost or lose. What's the most strange not power on problem you met before? Please leave your comment and share with us.